So after silencing the alarm, you first need to figure out which of the two banks of tanks is actually empty. So to do this, you look up at the manifold and you'll see three valves. The left and the right correspond to the left and the right banks and the middle valve corresponds to the pressure that's being let out into the system, into the labs. So one of these two will be empty. So in order to switch from the empty bank to the full bank, officially, you want to take the knob and slide it over so that it's pointing at the full bank. Okay, so before getting started, uh, I like to wear safety glasses on these uh, just because working with high pressure, you never know what's going to happen. So in order to get started, you want to first close off all the tanks by turning it clockwise. Okay, once all the tanks are closed off, you're ready to take off the gas lines from the tanks. So you can do this with an adjustable wrench and you generally just want to get them started and then you can, it's faster to do the rest by hand. Okay, so then once they're all loose, you can go ahead and remove them completely by unscrewing them by hand. So they should rotate very easily. Now in the event that they don't, which happens very frequently, um, you can continue to use the wrench. And usually when this happens, uh, it's just stuck kind of out of its normal groove. And so one easy way to pop it back in is to just gently tap it onto a tank. And you'll see that it spins much freer. Okay, and now you just want to Carefully roll the tanks out and just be careful not to hold on top of the tank. Just hold it around the top so that this doesn't uh, snap off or break. The easiest way to take off a stuck lid is to go back to your wrench and put it into the hole in the cap and then simply push and it'll get right past that stuck part and put it back into the groove. And now you're ready to roll the tanks in, back into place uh, into the manifold. Now when you're putting the tanks in, one thing that makes it easier to do the next step is to put all the valves facing in the same direction. That way uh, it's much quicker when you're moving from tank to tank and the lines don't get tangled as easily. All right, so once the tanks are in place, you just want to refasten them so that they're not going to uh, potentially tip over. Now we're ready to reattach the gas line to the tank, but it's really important before doing that to look inside the line. You should see a white plastic seal on the inside of the line. It's always good to check each one before you reattach it to the tank. Okay, so now we're ready to go back to the wrench and gently tighten the lines. So you've basically changed the tanks. The last step is just to put the gas tanks open so that it can release into the manifold. Now you want to be careful and do this very slowly initially in case there's been any type of leak when you've reattached the lines. So as you slowly open it, you should hear gas fill the manifold again. And what's really important is after the sound stops, it should go totally quiet. If you still hear a whistle, there's a good chance that there's not a tight seal uh, between the line and the tank. And in that case, you want to reclose the tank and just reset this line on the tank. Now you may have noticed that I was wearing gloves to change tanks, which doesn't always seem like you would need it since you're not in the lab setting. But Often these tanks are pretty nasty, old and rusty. And so this is why um, I highly recommend wearing gloves or you're gonna spend 30 minutes at the sink getting your hands clean.